steps to be followed in infant CPR. If the casualty is below one year and you don't know why the infant is in breathing, then perform CPR. Place the baby on his or her back on a flat surface such as a table, floor or ground. To begin, examine the situation by patting his feet and gently tapping his chest or shoulders and watch for a response such as movement but don't shake the baby. If there is no response, follow the CAB procedures same as adult with four major differences. Number 1. Placement of fingers in chest compressions. Unlike to adult, where we have used two hands to perform chest compressions. In an infant CPR, only two fingers of one hand is used over the middle of the casualty's chest. Number 2. Instead of 5 cm chest compression depth in adult CPR, chest is compressed only about 4 cm in an infant CPR. Number 3. In adult CPR, we pinch the nose with one hand while performing rescue breathing over the mouth. In an infant rescue breathing, the baby's mouth and nose are both covered with your mouth. Number 4. In adult CPR, deep breaths from your lungs are used to rescue breathing. In infant CPR, only the strength of your cheeks are used to deliver gentle puffs of air to slowly breathe into the baby's mouth one at a time, taking one second for each breath. Perform CPR for about two minutes before calling for help unless someone else can make the call while you attend to the baby. Continue CPR until you see signs of life or until medical personnel arrive. 